the French port of Calais. In a quiet corner of the docks, this ship, the Ile de Seine, is taking on board an intriguing cargo. Is it a rope? Is it a garden hose? Whatever it is, it hasn't been packed in a container like most cargo these days, but is being fed gradually from the quayside onto the ship. This loading never seems to end. It's very long because it's got to stretch all the way to another continent, and it's treated with care because this garden hose is in fact an extremely delicate bit of high-tech equipment. It's a massive length of undersea fiber optic cable, and the Ile de Seine is taking on board an extraordinary 5,000 kilometers of the stuff. Making fiber optic cable is a fiddly business, requiring the delicacy of touch and eye for detail of a top Harley Street surgeon and some really clever machines. This miraculous stuff is optic fiber, a tiny hollow filament of glass finer than a human hair. Along it, it's possible to send data. Electrical signals from your computer or telephone are converted into pulses of laser light and then channeled along the fiber at the astonishing rate of 300 million meters every second. By weaving multiple strands of this fiber together, every undersea cable can carry over a thousand gigabits of data every second, enough to keep millions of people merrily blabbering away on the phone or surfing the internet. But of course the ocean floor is a pretty inhospitable environment, subject to strong currents, hungry fish and corrosive seawater. So the fiber optic cable needs some heavy duty protection. This stuff looks like ribbon, but if you wrapped a birthday present with it, you'd be unlikely ever to find out what was inside, because this ribbon is made from high-grade steel. After wrapping with a waterproof plastic coating, the undersea cable is good to go.